Welcome everyone, this is Gabriel Poole for SVN Network. We're in Lignano Sabbiadoro near Venice, the boat testing center of Fontaine Pajot run by Eurosail Yacht. Eurosail Yacht has two boat testing centers, one here and one on the other side of Italy near Genoa in Loano. So if you need to visit one of the cats made by Fontaine Pajot or you want to test pilot one of them, you can call them. Anyways, we are here to test today the Astria 42. It's a new cat which came out in 2018, two years ago. And I think this boat has a very unique character, but to learn more about it, why not talk about with Luca Venica, the CEO of Eurosail Yachts. Hi, Gabriel. Hi, Luca. How are you? Fine, thanks. Okay. Hello to everyone. One preliminary note, as you can see, I'm not wearing a mask. Uh, here on SVN Network, uh, we all are tested for COVID before we start shooting. When we're not shooting, we're wearing masks. While shooting, we take them off. Okay, so I was saying that um, it seems to me this boat has a unique uh, character. Can you tell us something about this? Yeah, well, of course, uh, that's uh, not just only the Astrea 42, but all the Fontan Pajot catamarans have a uh, their own DNA, that uh, their DNA is, uh, is uh, seaworthiness, performance, elegance, and as you mentioned, very good character uh, under sailing conditions. Good. And speaking of sailing conditions, I noticed you have nets. I know some cats don't have nets anymore, but you do. Yes, it's uh, very important for the safety during the navigation on the med on the atlantic navigations yes because of course if it's heavy weather and there's a big wave then the net allows the waves through and so it's uh, an important uh, safety sides. issue on both sides yeah yes. okay well shall we see the other features of the boat well we can talk a little bit about this area uh, is a front cockpit uh, could be a relaxing area or as well an aperitive area because the some bed become just a sofa, so you can sit and have a very relaxing moments with your with your friends. Here, the net is a safety point, but as well is a very good point for relax and of course. and using like some bed. Yes, of okay. course, of course. Just in the middle of the net, you can see the bowsprit that is very important when you want to use a code zero or genacker. Okay, so uh, just in this uh, front cockpit, you have a lot of features, uh, as uh, you can see. Yeah, and I don't see the anchor. Well, the anchor uh, is uh, under uh, the cockpit because uh, we have uh, two reasons. One, uh, to keep the area where it's safe without yeah. uh, any yeah. problem, and uh, as well uh, to have the body center very low. So it's, yes, yeah, so it's very, uh, more comfortable, it's safer and also keeps uh, the center of gravity low. Definitely. Okay. Very good. Okay, Luca, so what about the rest of the boat? Let's have a look. Come okay. with me. Show me the way. Yes, please. Here you have the handrail to use okay, for the safety. And you are welcome here in the cockpit. Okay. Uh, this is uh, very nice, very spacious, as you can see. Uh, this is an incredible sofa. Luca, why don't you explain the features of this cockpit. Yes, uh, well, uh, here you can easily see that uh, also here we can keep the 360 degree yeah. view. And then we have the two hitches for the engine room. Here we have a two Volvo, yes. 50 horsepower instead than the standard uh, that are 30 horsepower. And then you immediately, you can see the two windows that uh, allowed a lot of natural yes. light to go in in the cabin. Right. Uh, how course, about, uh, sorry, tell me. how about storage space? Because well, I know that's very important for private owners. Yes, for private owners, definitely is one of the most important things. Uh, we have a full of lockers under all the four seats. Right. So all the space are uh, well used for uh, make happy the owner. Yes. As well, here in the cockpit, we have uh, some appliances uh, as the, the fridge for the let's say for the captain okay, yes. and uh, there uh, we have uh, as well a very funny thing uh, the Neat. the barbecue very okay nice. for uh, cook uh, a fish or whatever you want yeah okay what about the helm station 
Well, the M station ECR is uh, is in a very uh, nice position, and uh, please uh, come with me to have a look. You can All go right, up on this way, off. and I will go in this way. Come here, sit here, and then stay oh. with me. Oh, this is very nice. Uh, nice couch. If uh, you come from a mono hall, you're not used to this. Yeah, you... it's, it's very comfortable. Also, when you want to sail uh, with your wife or you with your child here, close to you, it's fantastic. Yeah. Here in Elm Station, you have uh, all the electrical features. You have the GPS, you have the autopilot, you have the wind station. And here you have the chain counter. As well here, uh, everything for the engines and the VHF. So everything uh, could be uh, really used from here. And as well, when you need to make the maneuvers, you can put the autopilot and go in front. You have yeah. all the winches. The winches are right there, so you don't have to go very far. And yeah. one thing you notice is that you can see practically everything. I mean, you can see the foredeck, you can look and you can actually see inside the salon. And as well here, you have the sunbed. Yeah, that's okay. also very nice. If you have to sail for eight hours, at least you have someone to talk to. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Incredible, yes. yes. Okay, and well, I went sailing this morning. Oh, course. really? Yes. Without me? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, Tell me, how well, was the wind? How many knots? Uh, the wind was about eight knots, I think. Um, so you were sailing around 4.5, 5 knots. Exactly, okay. exactly. And it was, uh, it was very nice. I think it was a very decent speed, I think, uh, for a 42 cat. You uh, know, uh, some other catamaran with this wind they cannot sail right. because they need at least over 10 knots to move with the sails uh, that is uh, thanks to our sailing plan we have uh, an incredible uh, sailing area because we have the mast john just uh, there in front yes. so we have the boom very big and we have here 70 square meter uh, main sail and 41 square meter genoa yeah. So that uh, is the heart of the uh, of the sailing engine. Let's call it like that about our boats. It's part of the DNA, as I told you before. Performance, elegance, uh, panoramic view, and everything. So sailing plant is uh, is sailing, and the performance is very important for us. Yeah. And it's very easy also to hoist the sail. We have two electrical winches. So uh, the maneuvering, I must say, is. Uh, really really uh something you can handle also on your yeah the boom uh, have a look is, is very low so you can easy handling uh, that's true yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's, we, uh, it's very we, important as i mentioned before uh, you know also that. for not a very expertise keeper but uh, for owners are very uh, practice uh, to use the main sail okay and uh well we have to see the interiors of the boat so, yes, uh, why not? You want to have a look? Sure. Come with me, we can drink an aperitif. Oh, wow. In the meantime, that I can explain you something more about the interiors. Okay. now in the saloon of the Astria 42 and it's very very nice very spacious what I really like is this uh, this view I mean there's windows everywhere yes they are keeping always uh, the panoramic view from uh, these uh, fantastic uh, glasses uh, these windows and uh, of course from this uh, very huge and big uh, overture to the dinette okay it's uh, really creating an uh, and really unique area okay so you can uh, uh, feel it to be outside also if you are uh, inside in the dinner yes and uh, the galley is also very large and uh, it allows you to cook and talk to the people who are sitting at the table yeah you are not uh, like in a monohull in a separate area you are always enjoy with your uh, friends the galley is very spacious uh, you see a, a lot of uh, areas uh, where you can cook uh, even in two three persons uh, without uh, any stress there are all the appliances you need uh, there are the oven there are the 
the, the fridge, there are the fridge there, there are many, a lot of spaces yeah. uh, exactly studied for the uh, classic uh, private owners. Yes. Okay. So uh, you have to know that here uh, in the Met arrive uh, people from everywhere uh, in the world, uh, yeah. from uh, US, from Russia, from Europe, from Turkey. And, and sorry, uh, is that? Because yeah. you remind me of something I wanted to ask you about. Is that also part of your clientele? I mean, this international yes, variety? Yes, uh, I should tell you that at least 50% of our customers come from abroad, okay? Because they see Italy like a very nice destination and also an uh, area where to have a uh, mooring, where uh, to keep the boat during the winter, okay? Northern Italy, I mean. Yeah, of course, northern, two. but uh, as well also we can organize the birth and the maintenance of the boat also like in Sicily or uh, along the Italian coast. Okay. So really one foreign uh, customer can come here, enjoy Italian food and Italian sailing right. area. Right, Yes. Okay, uh, can you tell me something about the layout? of the boat? Well, this uh, boat have a typical uh, private owner layout, so on the starboard you have the, the owner uh, cabin and on the starboard uh, you have, um, in the port side, sorry, you, you have uh, the guest cabin. Right. You want to have a look? I would like to very much. Please, come with me. Okay. Here in the front cabin you can see a very good and nice highland bed, okay, so it's not uh, uh, like the other catamarans that you have uh, the bed side to side. That's true. Here you have a highland, so it's very easy to, to access the bed, no, exactly. which is always a problem. Yeah. And just here on your left you see this fantastic window that allow right. you to have a lot of natural light. So yes. even you are in the cabin, you don't feel to be in the cabin. You yeah. feel to be uh, in a freedom area. Absolutely. And here, please have a look here, the hatch. Here you have two hatches, uh, one on the deck and one on the window, so a lot of uh, wind circulation. Yes, lots of wind circulation, lots of light. And uh, what about the other cabin is there, I imagine? Yeah, yeah, in, yes, in this direction, before to go out of the cabin, you can have a look here on the, on the bathroom. Here we have the shower, the head, uh, and uh, have everything you need here. Right. Okay, let's continue okay. here in the corridor. Okay. Wow, this is very nice. Yeah, it's a very, uh, let's say, a VIP uh, cabin. Uh, you have a two big windows with Absolutely. a lot of natural light and uh, always as well two edges for have a good ventilation. Here you have closets, here you have uh, the doors for the wardrobe and uh, as well here the access for the bathroom directly for the internal of the cabin. Yeah, well if I wa see this cabin, I can't imagine what the owner's cabin must be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, you're right. Come with me here in the owner's cabin, okay. follow me. Let's go to the maestro cabin. Okay, lead the way. Yes, have a look. The wool, the wool hull just for one cabin. This is incredible. Yes, very, the, very full, nice. the wool, uh, uh, the wool hull dedicated to the owner cabin. Yeah. Here uh, on the on the bow, you can have a look about this incredible uh, bathroom. You have a shower that is bigger more than uh, in your house. I, oh I guess. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the whole starboard side is basically dedicated to the owner. I mean, yeah, 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 exactly. Yes. Okay. Here, a lot of uh, storage for uh, what needs for an owner and uh, his wife uh, for sale a lot of months. Yes. Here as well, uh, you have a separate toilet. So in this way, who are using the toilet uh, are not making busy the the, the bathroom. And here a lot of closets, a lot of uh, storage. And here, yes, if we are uh, in front of the bed, the same bed of the VIP uh, cabin. One meter sixty for two meters, like home. Have a look here. There is a door, you can close it, and okay. uh, your uh, cabin is uh, absolutely in a total privacy. Absolutely, that's absolutely true. Yeah. So, Gabriel, let's go back to the net. Let's go. Did you enjoy the visit? I did. 
I did very much. Very good. We're almost done here. And uh, Luca, would you like to add something before we finish? Well, uh, why not? Uh, uh, just a short message to the people that uh, would like to buy a catamaran to sailing in Italy. They can uh, write me at uh, Luca at Eurosailio.com. I can answer them uh, to their questions uh, and uh, all. Uh, let's say if they have some curiosity, why not? They can write me. Okay. Well, Luca, for our part, I wish you thank you very much for this visit. It was a pleasure. Okay. And I wish you th really thank Eurosail Yachts because it takes a lot of organization to shoot a video like this, a support boat, a skipper, and everything. And everything was extremely well organized as usual. So thank you very much. Thank you to you. And remember to click the link. This is the presentation of the boat, but for the actual test, you can click on the link below and you get all the specs, all the information and the prices. Uh, goodbye for now. And the appointment is for the next video of SVN Network. Goodbye.